Oh, look at that! Oh my god, it's... Wait, 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 what? Armageddon Games? Oh, wait, I thought I was going to play uh, Zelda Classic. Well, I guess I'm going to end up having to relive the classics with Armageddon Games. Who is Armageddon Games nowadays that uh, Zelda Classic is becoming a whole different thing? Well, anyways, I'm going to continue. <laughs> so, I'm just being random now. I'm going to continue my... Actually, not just continue. I'm going to beat this. I'm going to finally beat Musha's Legs Quest for the Hookshot. And I'm going to be on my webcam again. I was on my webcam before, but I don't think I'm going to save that. I just uh, I didn't like the angle of the webcam. Uh, I was sitting in the same spot I am now, but I'm going to heighten. I've heightened the thing a bit, so I'm not looking down. I'm like, imagine this. This is some contrary look, right? So, let's play this game. But yeah, this is the first, uh, actually, yes, I've recorded my face before, but this is going to be the first time I will actually show my face. Wait a second. Oh, here we go. I was about to say, I thought I lost my fall entirely. I said, no. That would have been a disaster. But here we go. This is, this is my fall, so I'm going to complete this game. And uh, so, just because of this is going to be my last video, I decided to show my face on this camp. I'm not normally the type of person who likes to show my face when I does my LPs because I don't know. I'm just I think it's just a small bit of paranoia. Like I just don't like the whole picture screen. Uh, like the, the, that people have the ability to take pictures of my face and especially at the most awkward look, look like this no <laughs> just right it's definitely gonna be out but anyways enough about my face let's talk about this game this has got to be probably thus far my favorite game for Zelda classic that I have played that is obvious to the fact because it's the only one I've taken interest in beating so I have a few friends that's gonna be coming here shortly I'm at my friend's house there now Oh, and this is uh, good news too. I own this laptop now. If anyone, I think I posted a message how I destroyed my old laptop, which is here somewhere. I end up. I have to make a myth. Uh, I have to admit. I don't know if this constitutes as a rage quit. It's pro probably not because it will just constitute as a stress between uh, two dogs who are on train and doing their business on the floor between a child, my child screaming, I suppose you probably heard in some of my LPs, and between a computer, to, uh, between Moosh's quest, which would cause normal people to rage quit, and between a computer that seemed to want to shut down every five or six seconds for reasons I wouldn't even know. So I end up doing the Hulk smash on it, and, uh, and I, for a little while, I had no laptop. But now tonight, I do have a laptop. This is officially my laptop there now because I bought it off my friend. So let's finish this quest with my new laptop. Hello? Oh, that's just the cats. Now, oh perfect, I was just gonna say, where is the sound? The last time I played, I beat, um, not Moosh's Ways, I beat the ultimate test, which is in that cave right there. You, you enter that cave by bombing putting a bomb there. Now, I bet, bet any rational minded person would say, how would I even supposed to know that that was even there? Well, Mush has like the super lens of truth that does not use magic and pretty much shows you all secrets on the screen. The only catch is with this superior eye of truth or the Manhan lie, as so he calls it, is that you have to kill the old man. Um, Manhanlaha or something. Manhan Manhanlaha. And I, well, uh, in short, I used to always come Mr. Leahy. <laughs> so, so if you, there's a point in the game, if you kill him, you get pretty much one of the best items in the game. You get the best item in the game for finding any secrets that you have to. And it helps you find that dungeon. Also, there is a guy who is in the game who tells you the location of this dungeon. However, finding that guy is also still very hard without the Manhan lie. Now, where am I going? Okay. There was that one point in this game 
do is have one point in this game now. Arr. Where, uh, if you watched my last video of where I finally beat the ultimate test, there was a door sealed. Yes, but that's some great pin. Yeah, that's some drink tonight. So you probably see that a little bit on the calendar. So let's continue. What was I supposed? To, what was I plan on doing? Yes, I was going to go to Moosh's Ways. Now I got all my items back. Imagine doing that whole godforsaken level with just your weakest armor, your weakest sword. And no potions, but you do get bombs. In fact, I'd say, I'd say after I beat some of the toughest parts of his dungeon with the bombs, he's probably going to redesign his dungeon so that you cannot use bombs. He's going to get rid of the bomb of a waz, and next thing you know, the only thing that you got going for you in that dungeon is a sword. He probably may, may even get rid of his dungos and add a fucking Petra. Excuse my language. <laughs> So you'll probably have to end up beating a Patra with your level 1 sword in your green suit. So... No, I don't... Th he... he... The, the author of this quest said that I've, uh... That, that I've beaten his ultimate test quicker than anyone... Uh, well, quicker than anyone that he, uh... He knows of, and but the thing is, at the same time, a lot of the progress I've made, like that's not entirely true because a lot of the progress I made, uh, well, between uh, if uh, like it, like I've said so many times in the video that I've, like I've I paused through each segment, not each and every key, but each certain segment milestone I created. So there was a there was a few there was a bit of time clocked in, not much now, not much. Granted, I say like between. Between ticks, between each milestone, I probably practiced for like what ten minutes. So still, uh, I will. Uh, so at the same time, I could say if I had to put it down, I beat the ultimate test in game time, gameplay wise, less than two hours. And I could I admit that. And this place here, I beat down in a half hour, but only because I used Moosh's map, which I drew out myself. I haven't uploaded that video yet, but I will upload it all in one big bulk soon enough. Choose wisely, you can only take one. The Chaos Boomerang pretty much breaks everything. The Guard Block can block Fireballs, and the Gold Arrow deals massive damage, but only works on some enemies. Now, see, the best thing I can say about this right now is that Everything sounds boring except for the Chaos Boomerang. I think that's what it was called, or was it the Chaos Arrow. The reason why is because I already know what the other two does. And I'm at the end of the game, I've beat everything, so... 
I'm going to choose the one that breaks everything, because that sounds like it's the most exciting. But I'll be right back. I gotta step uh, away from the keyboard for a second. Okay, I'm back. Now, it is time to break everything. Looks pretty freaky. What was... That's one thing. I've actually picked this boomerang before. So that's twice I've picked the same item in this quest. In my playthrough before. This is the farthest I got in my playthrough before, but uh... I didn't love the last level, but I never beat it. But, but I, uh, I picked this item, and I've been hearing explosions. But what was causing the explosions? I do not know. So what does he mean by breaks everything? This sound to me like the most exciting item. Is it really just a fire boomerang? Is that what it is? And is that what it means for break everything because it just stops everything from moving? You can just keep... Oh, it breaks everything. It uh, it stuns... That's what it means. It stuns everything. It breaks everything. Oh, <laughs> that's not so fun. Is it? Well, I picked an item. That I am stuck with it. That's all it is. It's just the fire boomerang. <laughs> what? Oh, and I could have chose the great shield that could block off our boss, which nearly every scripted boss he does. Ugh. And I chose the fire boomerang. Oh, well, it breaks everything. <laughs> well, why not have something that breaks everything? This is the best item, because I chose it. Hello. Well, if I had to choose between the three of those... Wait, so... Was that thing that blocks Farbaz, was it just a shield? Is that how these ultimate items were? I thought they were like, wicked cool scripted items, but I'm just thinking that it's a... You have an arrow, that's a more powerful arrow, so the golden arrow pretty much. And, uh, wait a second. Okay, you have an arrow, that's more po uh, a more powerful arrow, yada yada yada. And you have, you have the shield that blocks far boss, which I'm gonna assume is just a shield. And I thought it was so much more. So these three ultimate items, there was never much ultimate about them. Oh, well, I ain't complaining. <laughs> Who cares? I just glad I just glad I picked one because I want to see what's behind that door up here. And if I can't still can't get behind the door, I'm going to abandon the door. I'm sorry for all you watchers. If I cannot get behind the door right now, you're going to have to ask the author what's behind the door because I've abandoned it. The door is abandoned. I'm not going to go on no wild ghost goose chase for the impossible. I'm going to take my silver fire boomerang and I'm going to beat the final boss and see the real image. Hello? Hello? Hmm. Can that really be the cats make not that noise? Wait, I got a choice for the three items again? Huh. Well... You got the guard block. Press B when you're about to be hit by a projectile to block it. At the cost of one rupee per shot. I get all three! 
You got the gold arrow. They deal high damage and can be redirected if you face another door. Oh, that's pretty cool. You get a three! You got the Chaos Boomerang. It deals damage to enemies as it stuns them, and if you press B in mid-flight, it will- <laughs> Oh, yes! At the castle of map. Okay, now these items get a little bit more interesting. Stop killing me, because I do not like dying. So you actually have to get one of these items to inevitably get three, and also be taught how he works. Let's try this! Oh, but at the cost of one bomb. <laughs> yes! I gotta see this though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> this is pretty damn cool. <laughs> so this level here is when they teach you how to use these uh, these freaking crazy items. I'm using too many bombs. <laughs> Choose your own road. I better get rid of that boomerang. That boomerang is is uh it's too tempting. <laughs> okay, this is definitely my favorite item now. The boomerang would be my favorite item, but it's it's too addicting and uh, it uses too much bombs. But if I had more, than, but having plenty of bombs is very helpful. Imagine beating Ganon from the first game with us. <laughs> oh well, whatever.
<laughs> Woo! Wait a second. No. Over 700 rupees. Whoa, what is with those cats? Whoa, cats, calm down, man. Don't be uh, going crazy. I gotta speak to my friend, too, and uh, she's gotta learn to, like, raise these cats a little bit or something. No, she's, she's really good with them, but... She just don't understand the whole disciplinary. Okay, I'm just gonna have to stop fooling around. <laughs> I'm using most of my video just with these crazy items. Hmm. I should get myself. I should get myself just prepared. Cool. Just, just to kick some serious ass. No, you know what? I got enough. So yeah, I'm very excited to see if, uh, what's the future of, of Wusha's Quest designing capabilities. Uh, no, what I'm trying to say is, I'm, I'm really excited on the news of a sequel. I'm excited to see more quests of this author. I will surely be playing them. And I will, I'll probably might go to the first one, Link's Quest for the Hookshot 1, but I've been hearing, even from the author himself, that that quest ain't really quite the masterpiece that this quest is. I have to say, too, another thing, too. For choosing, for choosing midis and for choosing music, E by far has probably chose the best uh, best midis I've ever I could I could even think of. I waste more time doing that. I could just aim at the guy. I waste more time fooling around. Woo! Oh! <laughs> where am I going? I think I know where I'm going. I love that. <laughs> Crazy golden arrow. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, and that still didn't go down there. That looks like I still got things missing. So. Hear that? What a loud sound effect. I could use this item for a while, that's pretty damn neat. Excuse my language, but wow.
or whatever. <laughs> wow, that's some loud sound. What in the hell, sir? I have to say though, as for like different new attacks, I have to say that I'm probably, I think that's, I'm going to end up going back to Ross's The Darkness Within quest because he has by far made the most interesting new attacks. Now again, I don't know how much of that was made by him himself because it's, according to it, he's, he's, had, he's had help with his quest, that's what I've been hearing. Now I got the hiccups. Now, uh, here I am on camera, doing an LP, and wait, I get the hiccups? Perfect! Time to die! Wait a second. Of course. Perfect! I didn't expect that would happen. Oh wait now, that's not the door that sucks you in. It's only bombable doors in this quest that sucks you into the void. Hmm. See, if that was a bombable door, I would be sucked right into the door. Touchy. Oh, that might be my friend. Hold on. The door's not even locked. Zoom. Okay, I'm back. Now let's beat this boss and get this over. Yeah. Oh shoot, I screwed up. Now... The worst thing about this push block is that it's so touchy right now. Well, anyways, yeah, the knock on the door, that, wa that was my friend. Uh, uh, perfect. Well, th this is all good now. So the first time I did that, that wasn't so touchy. Well, I guess it was as touchy. I just never experienced it before. So now, that's it. This is where I fought. This is where I fought the first form. Yeah, two full months, two. Well, I had one left over two years ago. So now I'm gonna beat the game. You, you guys see this? Uh, just take a look at this. This is probably the one of the coolest custom bosses I ever did. Uh, this is the guy that. The, the, this guy here makes really cool bosses. I don't know if I beat him. Will I be able to beat him right now? Because he's hard too. Just watch this there. Now, well, you got the uh, oh, Final Fantasy IV music here. That's that's not my game. That's his game. Oh, Final Fantasy IV. Music. Uh, uh, yeah, because look, look at the place though. The place even looks like the place from Final Fantasy IV. What did you say it was called? 
Lunar Subterrain or something. Lunar, Lunar Subterrain, yeah. Uh, I don't know what the hell I caught when I uh, did the LP. Is that what it's called? Uh, I think this was good. Now, now look at this. Just, just watch. This is uh, awesome. Oh yeah, I gotta, I'm just gonna go right through this right quick. You guys see this boss though? This guy is fucking great at making bosses. This is the final boss of the game. I should have like brought a few more bombs with me, but fuck it. I'll be able to do it what I got. At least I think it will. No. Not bad for a pair of DC shoes that you want. There you go. Now watch the attacks that comes out of this thing. Whoa! I forgot this guy takes a lot of damage off you, so I best just stick it to my arrows. All in games that people program is that. His attacks, this is why I want him making my bosses. He makes the coolest attacks in the world, you'll see now. Oh no! Oh! Oh, that won't do much to me. His attacks gets worse. Oh, 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 fuck, this attacks is almost. Whoa! Oh yeah, definitely. Oh! Oh, no sir! You gotta heal or something. I shouldn't get too close to this guy. Does it run on money? No, it runs on actual arrows. Ah. Studio can see yellow, the arrows there. Uh, the A there, I have infinite arrows. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick his ass this time. Oh, I need to heal. Whoa! Oh shoot! Well, not many. I like how like they get the background moving on the phone, but you get them to your bridge. That that's a script. Like uh, yeah, you're a script that, that that's a that's a really cool that's a really cool script he has going on there. Like, this whole game is filled with scripts. Perfect, he's dead. Oh, that's not... That's not him dead. Yeah, like, this guy lives just over by the mall. Like, if you ever want to have a game of poetry with you, let's put it there. Perfect, he's, now he's dead. He's a guy who's for a while. I never think I would really make a whole lot of money around there, but you see, they've been great playing cards in this game and stuff, but he was a little bit more... He was more of an acquaintance. Oh yeah. But um, he just wanted to hang out today for some years, so... But anyways, uh, I was just going to say, that one, whoever's going to be watching this, I never read what he was saying because I already did it before, but I guess words down anything, I'll read what comes up here. But uh, how many years have it, how many years have it well, since you uh, spoke to this guy, like seen him? Um, I'd say the last time I actually really hung out with him was 2006. Oh yeah. Skate, skating by this. Uh, uh, well, I didn't know when I was younger. That's something. That's That's something I wish I had done when I was younger. All my other friends did it when we went from to elementary to junior high. All my other close friends done it. So I, I picked it up too. Oh no doubt. Anyways, it's like, no. How could it be? My glorious, godly Mark, figure destroyed really, by a mere mortal. Mark, 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 M
How could this happen? Was I meant to be a moron? Was I meant to die all along? America's so socially awkward and like rich guys. People were like... He's still socially awkward. Like there's just people I don't even know like half the time to fuck me. My soul. It's like I heard you kick the three the other day. It is fading. See, you know something, if uh... If he ever sees this video now, you'll know you've talked about him. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not, I'm not about I know. Well, uh, my soul, it is fading. My jimmies. <laughs> it's my jimmies. <laughs> my jimmies. <laughs> my soul, it is fading. My jimmies. You rustled them all up. <laughs> oh no, he's dead. My jimmies. Well, I got seven games there. You can put, you can play on the Wii. What one do you want to play on? Anymore, not uh, we're the playboy. Oh, play 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 uh, Okami. But you do you have like uh, that? that don't, uh, oh, that's the Metroid Four trolley. I wouldn't mind playing Metroid Prime Three again. I got uh, yeah, two. Of them, I don't got the one disc. I got yeah. the two GameCube and one. I have my GameCube controller too. Though. Yeah. But I, I started Metroid Prime Three last night. I was so tired that I had to. I played a little bit of this Okami game. Yeah. And I love it. Like. Look, this was when this was before Capcom became Crapcom and you were familiar Crapcom? With. They don't publish garbage, okay? This was mm. when they weren't publishing garbage. It's you just gotta get over how it looks. I'll tell you, it, it's I, I, I would, I it would, looks weird, but I'll I would, tell you what, I know I would, what it is. I would bet a Kami is a good game though. You wanna know what it's like? Yeah. It's, it's like it's, 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 it's like, like Zelda Classic. It's, it's no, it's like a fucked up Zelda. It's like messed up Zelda. Look, is there one you count this? Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this was a little added bonus that was thrown in too, which I won't be playing much. Oh yeah. Black Ops. Black Ops. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, you've saved me again, Link. Now let's return to Hyrule together and make lots of babies. <laughs> and so Link destroyed Poek for good and brought peace to the land of Quest. You want to drop outside with me for a minute? Yeah. Uh, I, uh, well, well, let's get your. I want to get your this first. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I gotta put. I gotta fill my bowl. You, smoke. <laughs> Using the special distortion of Poek's realm, he and Zelda return to Hyrule and live happily ever after. No, no, Link, wait, Zelda is your. He's <laughs> <laughs> that cliche. Sister. <laughs> it's like, no, Link, wait, Zelda is your. They like to say live happily ever. Wait, 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 wait. what are you talking about? No, no! <laughs> uh oh, some. some uh, yeah, so you, 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 you thought it was some real cliche shit. That's not what hell he is. Yeah, it's like, no, said. Link, wait, Zelda's your sister. I was pleasantly surprised. <laughs> <laughs> this is good stuff, too, man. This is like. What is this thing in the ending? It's like this unhappy looking face thing. I've never even seen that in the whole game. Quiz planned by and designed by Moosh. Graphics from Legend of Zelda 2 and Legend of Zelda 2, which I think, and most most Zelda games and other games. Music from many games. There's Final Fantasy 4, Final Fantasy 6, Final Fantasy 3, Final Fantasy Legends, oh, a lot, lot of Final Pokemon, there's Pokemon, Donkey Kong Country 2, Metroid Fusion, Mega uh, Mega Man, uh, Metroid Fusion uh, one, and No Angels, Garrett, and Penny in the Stocking, whatever. Uh, mini by. Blah, 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 all these people. Wow. He included the people's name too. I. That's something I gotta. Oh man, I got a lot of work to do because that's that's only fair, isn't it? Scripts by Joe One Two Three, Lord Volcanon Moosh. Inspiration from Evan Two Thousand, Spaceman Dan Ross. The Binding of Isaac, Roman Sega. Uh, beta testing Ross Abba, Cherry Nine. I'm reading this so fast. Jared Shane. Cameo Spaceman Dan Evan Two Thousand, Abby Ross Melee Wizard Team Dolphin Moosh. Fixer of his game, Safford, Sexy Beast, Shoelace, A Why Not Crib Them One More Time, Spaceman, Dan, Pan, Crafter, General, Evan, uh, 20,000, Phoenix Bird, um, Mecha Prime, Special Tanks to the Pure ZC Community, and our artistic group, and a lot of ZCL peers. Congratulations, player NJ Foosh. You beat the quest with a final death count of 139. You are a persistent player. And I can't believe you're talking about this game. You're like, oh, oh, you got that one, he says. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, the Twilight Princess, but 
the tw- our tw- uh, I mean, like, you, you gotta realize that you never played Skyward Sword, so I'm not excited about you trying to do try, uh, trying a, a new different experience. You beat Twilight Princess, man. Yeah, I know, and I loved it. It's almost as good as Link to the Past. Yeah. We were weak when tasked with the burden of saving our world. We succeeded, but we lost sight of our true purpose. We dealt a crippling blow to our foe, but. In the aftermath of our battle, we were consumed by the temptation of power. We continued to live on as shambling corpses wielding incredible power, yet our souls were reformed into his demonic tools. We have no regrets because we have no will of our own. I am alive. Truth be told, I can never die. I am forced to live over and over again, always to die and immediately return as something new. As time and again, I was filled and denied death every time. I began to lose my sanity, and yet I ha- can have no regrets. I would be forced to bear them for eternity. I am free. I have only wandered this bizarre alternate dimension for a short time. Yet it felt like years. I fear it may have changed me. I wish from the bottom of my heart that I could forget What's it. What's your Nintendo Wii broke, is it? No. I s- I'm just loaning you the cord. <laughs> There's wow. no catch. I'm loaning wow. the cord. <laughs> that went I sacrificed a lot to get this far, but I have no regrets because I did all of this for Zelda and I must remain strong for her sake. And it, oh no. In our emptiness we are at home. Within the confines of my madness I am at home. Finally we're home. Welcome home Link. Normally We've been like, waiting for you. Normally, <laughs> normally with a wacky game like this they'd have like quotes from all the reviewers and critics and magazine publishers and stuff but all it says is multiple award winner. I know, uh, like I, I do know that it's a good game. Like, uh, and, yeah, and, and you know what? It's very, uh, and you know what? Game. Between you and me, I would probably give that game an honest effort to beat it because it looks uh, like, I mean, uh, like I've heard a lot of good about it. The uh, Akami, I believe it's called, did, right? Did you? It, you, you, you says it's like Twilight Princess, where you play as the wolf and stuff like that. Well, yeah, you play as the wolf, but it's. I don't know, it's so wacky, it's so bizarre, and I, I don't even really, really like it, but I see you get about two hour, three hours in, and then you're like, whoa, this, well, what game, do you mean is, you this game is like a ro- action role well, well, What do you mean game. you don't like it? You like it, and I think it's, I would like it's it. It's really hard for uh, me. I'm more excited about that game than I am about Dark Souls, I when, have to admit. When, 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 I, when I'm thinking about playing a game like Okami, I always, I'm always like, oh, I always think about how it looks. And I'm like, oh, but when I puts it on, I know every yeah, but, time I puts it on, I get over that so fast. But look, say everything. Think about Wind Waker, for example. Like, mm-hmm. can you imagine how how much I had to get over to really it's, enjoy the Wind Waker? Now they got like for the there's a lot of now, now, now they got stuff in it too. now they got for like what is it? Uh, uh, the Nintendo Wii U, they got the Wind Waker HD, so they took they took one of the strangest looking Zelda games, made two sequels, and also made a HD version of the Wind Waker. Yeah, and that's what they fucking released it on. Yeah, on uh, that's what Black Bomb was bitching at in one of these videos. Black Bomb? Yeah, because it was bundled with the Wii U. It was like this game is ten years old. I'm sorry. Come up with something new. Yeah, it's true. It's true. He is right. He is right. Just that. Yeah. That, that that that's it's a cheap move. I don't want to. But, 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 the the HD version does look sweet because they have this whole lighting effect, but oh, still, yeah. it it doesn't justify the fact that the game is ten years old. Yeah, I played about two hours a week last night with candles. I played almost. I played about forty minutes of this. Yeah. With candles, and I, I threw on a little bit of Metroid Prime, and I was just testing it out. Like, Mi- you know? Metroid Prime has still got to be by far actually, one of my one of my favorite games of all time. This one here actually is what I meant to say. Oh, Metroid Prime Two Echoes is that three? That's number three. I like to play that again. Okay, wait, I gotta read this. Congratulations on beating Link's quest for the Hookshot 2 quest. The end. The quest password is no gods or kings, only jimmies. Get on, mm-hmm. cat. 
No gods or kings, only jimmies. <laughs> Feel free to look around, but be aware that the quest is very messy and disorganized. He's talking about like uh, accessing it on Z Quest, so you can actually uh, he actually provides the password where I can go into the program, and uh, I can actually see how it's made and steal some stuff from my quest, of course. <laughs> One of the bosses I didn't like at first in this ended up becoming one of my favorite bosses and that's the dragon that you gotta hook shot to his tail. Oh, oh yeah, that's one of the last ones. That's in the, that's in the sky. The sky palace. Right? The sky, oh uh, yeah, whatever it's called. It's the one you gotta like go to. It, it makes no sense. Link is fired from a cannon up into the I sky. Know, and it was <laughs> I love it. Zoro does have a bit of stupidity. You get your what? second hook shot and you're pretty much like Spider-Man in and you get graphic points. Anyways, this is over. This is it. This is the end of the game. I just beat Link's quest for Hookshot every single dungeon. This includes his hardest dungeons, which includes level 7, hard mode, the final dungeon, uh, and VVV, Vidi Vidi Vichy, or Witty Witty Witchy, whatever the hell you call it, and then Musha's Ways, and the ultimate test. I have conquered this game. It is over. I give it 5 out of 5. Actually, no, four and a half out of five because I never give five out of five out of anything. So perfect game, love it, but I don't want to play it ever again. <laughs> no, I probably will play it again, but not not anytime soon, for that matter. I'll be quite honest about that. So I'm really glad. Uh, I, I can't wait for the sequel. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. There, there's like one more game that I have for the Wii home, and I wouldn't even bring that with me. It's so cheap. It's oh, like called oh, Red Steel. Time for a thing. I wish I had that thing back. What's that? This game Red Steel on the Wii is just polluted with bugs. Yeah. But anyways, there's only three more games I want to add to it. No! What the? What the cat do? Fucking thing knocked my weed over. But it's not bad, is it? Like, it's salvageable, right? Yeah. Okay. Shit, but there's gonna be hair and everything in it now. I hate, yeah, the little cat gets on the nerves, boy. Fucking bitch. You gotta watch that little, you gotta watch that little cat. Just, it has to knock it over. He sees this nice blue color looking thing there. And oh, let's fuck with that. Rocky, I, I love like cat so much. I'd give me a smack if I was like wings. <laughs> so you bought more beer, did you? Out of the way? Half dozen. Well, you had to because she's closed now. There would be no way. No, you'd be... I bought it at needs. That's that's open twenty four hours, isn't it? No, they're closed at twelve. Look at that big fucking blob of cat hair. So actually, you. No, you... Uh, I probably am going to have a little bit, a little hit of cat hair in this. <laughs> but anyways, like I was saying, I want to head out and hit this quick and have a cig and I don't want to do it myself. Okay, well... But here's the thing, I don't want to climb through that window either. I know, I need to watch it. Yeah, there's a little bit of cat hair in this. Fuck. Crazy animal. Have to dig that out. They're like super Seinfeld fans where I just came from. Mark would love hanging out with them. Mrs. like knows the fucking scripts too.
Can I exit this for? Or wait, 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 no, 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 man, 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 man. What? Yeah, move, move. No, listen, that's that's saving. Like if you exit that, you. I was just gonna minimize it. Hold on. Just I, I it's almost done. Just let me just uh, I'll minimize it. Actually, it won't minimize because it doesn't have a minimize button. All right, well. Uh, and that's not we did. Yeah, you wanna know why it won't minimize? Oh, did you bring your laptop by the way? No. Oh. You wanna know why? why? Wanna know why it won't minimize? Because once. You can give me a key to the thing. I'll put it on my phone. Then I can check some hockey scores. Okay, I'll, I'll get I'll get the key for you. Though. Not right now. I wanna head out and have that blaze and have a sig. Well, I'm gonna close down this program first. Well, I'm gonna go outside in front step because I don't want to come driving over. I'm I'm coming there now. Just wait for me. I know, but I'm gonna hit a bowl first. I gotta see. Okay, you gonna say something for her too? Like how much do you I have? Got, I got. Um, I only had a joint of ropes, but I'll definitely save a bowl or two. I'll definitely save two bowls. But you'll probably hear my voice when you're coming back off.